Hi everyone, I'm Naomi Brockwell and this is Positive Liberty Space Edition, coming to you with complimentary background music thanks to the bar next door. So, Elon Musk's SpaceX broke ground on the world's first private commercial spaceport. Last week, in the small border town of Brownsville, Texas, crews began moving the first yards of dirt to lay the foundation for the control center. The SpaceX port is expected to bring over 300 jobs and $85 million of investment capital to the impoverished city. Musk hopes to use the Brownsville port to launch cargo missions, commercial flights and the first humans to Mars. SpaceX also made headlines by securing a $2.6 billion NASA contract. Along with Boeing, SpaceX will transport astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station. Strange relations with Russia prompted the US government to seek alternative ways to send crew to the space station and, as always, turning to the private sector made the most sense. This isn't the first NASA contract for SpaceX. Its Dragon craft recently made its fourth resupply mission to the space station, transporting experimental mice and a 3D printer to the orbiting outpost. And Virgin Galactic is inching ever closer to space tourism. Speaking on Late Night, entrepreneur Richard Branson announced that his company Spaceship 2 would be ready for commercial operation by March 2015. So far, 800 would-be passengers have made down payments, securing their spot in spaceflight history. The Winklevoss twins, or the Winklevi, even purchased their tickets with Bitcoin. In addition to stargazing, Branson also intends to use his suborbital ships to transport earthly travellers at blistering speed from London to New York in 45 minutes. After decades of government control, the private sector is taking space travel to a whole new level. It won't be long before you too can take a trip to outer space.